Good morning, grown black folks talk. I hate to do a grim start to the week, I really do, but we need to talk about something that I really, it's not a pleasant conversation, but it's an advanced vetting issue. You have to recognize people, organizations that are in the process of slowly being cast out. And what I mean by that is their wickedness is being exposed slowly but surely. And societies that want to remain intact, whether we talk on the neighborhood level, whether we talk about individuals who are moving on, and whether we just talk about the public, begin to slowly cast them out or being considered part of whatever scale of civilization we're talking about. In history, you see this in this way many, many times. If you take the whole sweep of history, Many men and some women have presumed to reign as God over those around them, kings, emperors, a few presidents, company owners, slave owners in particular, and their mistresses. But see, one thing happened, one or two things happened, you'd be forced out. Not so much in the slave owner context, although y'all look up Nat Turner. Every so often, y'all look up Haiti, the Haitian Revolution. Y'all look up the Civil War every so often, even in the slave owner context. One or two things is going to happen. While you're young and strong, you can pretend to play God as much as you want. But one or two things happen to world rulers of this type. If their people love them, they still have to get old and weak and impotent. And at that point, you are a fully mortal man, and everybody knows it. And in ancient times, we did not have the helps to old age that we have today. So you could see it, feel it, and smell it. Or if his people hated him, there was a slow process of their fear diminishing of them such that they could leave him, a fully mortal man, in a pool of his own blood, often with his entire family. And since he could not defend his family, clearly he was not God. But it's a process that goes with that. I'll give you a more modern example. President Donald Trump to 2020 did extremely well as far as his own followers are concerned. However, if you are the most powerful man in the world and you can neither protect yourself nor your family nor your circle from a disease that can be controlled by an N95 mask, you may be made mortal and you may have to leave office after all. Fight it as you will. We now recognize that President Donald Trump is a fully mortal man who left office just as every other president has left office on January 20th at the end of his term, despite his very best efforts to stay. They made an idol to this man of gold. <laughs> at least, you know, they made gold plated it for a, a conference of his party was having some months later, but try if you want to. Gods are not put out of office by election. That's an example on the world stage. This also happens to individuals. And at a certain point, the movie Training Day, Alonzo, played by, I believe it was Denzel Washington, one crime too many, and he begins his fall, his new partner, turns against him. I forget the young man who played that role right now. I watched that movie with my father, but that was a long time ago. This is begin the point in which his community begins to turn against him. Because somebody recognizes that partner as someone who saved his sister's life. And they get the word that this young man, they're not going to kill him. And once they realize they're not going to kill him, that whole community begins to turn both the Latino and the Black community begin to turn on Alonzo, this corrupt cop who, not, who knows all the secrets of everybody else. But the day comes toward the end, they won't protect him. They will not kowtow to him anymore. And he is cast out to a violent death at the hands of the monsters after all this time. But if you watch the movie, it takes time for that, that whole process to happen. Now, I should mention, as long as we're looking at movies for examples of this, the reverse of this, one of the very rare cases of it, 
everybody kind of knows Darth Vader at this point. And he has, if you take all the Star Wars movies together, a particularly sad and relevant arc. Now, the content creator who's probably done more good conversation about this is Lenon Honor, who talks about how Anakin Skywalker as a boy, not having his father and the anger that he has, and then he's not able to protect his mother, and how that anger takes him to the dark side, and how that story played out on the corners of every urban center in this country, because that father not being there. Now, of course, Anakin Skywalker, in his case, his is an unhappy imitation of the Immaculate Conception. So he can't have a father. It's, it's, it's a tragedy, but you see what it costs for him and what it costs the entire galaxy. However, after decades, at least a good 20 years, because if you do your math, Anakin Skywalker in his final Darth Vader phase would have been about 49 years old. After decades of being one of the wickedest men in the galaxy, he connects with the one thing that restores him, although it costs him his life. He finds out his son is still alive and he decides he wants to be father to his son. And you watch him disconnect that to his own evil, from his own evil desires and it winds out. When Luke Skywalker asked him, father, please, Darth Vader recovers from a lifetime of villainy. But that's very rare in movies because that's very rare in real life. Most of the times when people and organizations start down this path, they do not return. And in fact, in the movie, Yoda says to Luke to warn him, once you go toward the dark side, forever shall it dominate your destiny. Now, in the cosmology that that movie comes from, and there's two to work with, the idea of the seared conscience, the idea of becoming so callous to good that you will not, you will not sacrifice your ego in order to repent is not there. Partially because the force comes out of the idea of the Eastern religions, which really as far as my study is concerned that I found don't have this idea because you have a lot of reincarnation processes. So you have karmic debt, but you get another chance according to that cosmology. So the idea doesn't come up as much. But also, if you watch the original Star Wars, George Lucas uh, got called on being a rank white supremacist because just like you're going to tell a story of a whole nother galaxy and there's nobody of different colors in this movie. In the kind of mindset of people that will do that, you have to also understand these are the kind of, this is the cosmology that puts slave owners in heaven, although if you listen to them, they may have freed their slaves at the end of their life, but many of them said, you know, where I'm going, you're going too. Great, you would get to go to heaven and go back and work for the same person who, as he dies, is still pretending to be a little god worthy to be selling the bodies and souls of men and having their service for all eternity. And by the way, wasn't that what Confederate Vice President Alexander Stevens said? Stevens said in his cornerstone speech in which he talked about the cornerstone of the Confederacy was going to be the eternal servitude of the African in America. Y'all go look that up. There's no repentance for that without repentance. If you die like that, ain't nowhere in the world because you still pretend to be God and God is still not having rival in heaven. Uh, even his bodyguard, his best bodyguard, his anointed cherub, Lucifer, found out and got cast out. And if you back up all the way and read the scripture very carefully, what you find out is that even all of the struggle between good and evil in history is a whole struggle of evil making advances, evil people pretending to be God, and falling. The vast little bit, but what you watch is that slowly evil's forces are being cast out. And Lucifer himself in his manifestation and Satan will hit the bottom of his pit at one point and then be confined to the lake of fire. He and all his followers. This is the story, the long arc of prophecy. That's where you end up. Evil and all its adherents will be cast out. It's a very slow process. You know, you have to look at human lifespan. Like I said, world rulers who get beside themselves, get old or get killed. You can read that over and over and over and over again. People get old. Now, why am I bringing this up specifically now? In the last two weeks, three weeks, we have watched 
a segment of society be exposed and basically start the process of casting themselves out. Will Smith is banned from the Oscars for 10 years. Who would have thought that a man with his accomplishments of his public character and of his financial ability and therefore of his talent would ever allow himself to get into that position? But see, anger is a funny thing. If it's not dealt with, if it's not displaced. If you make a virtue of your vices, it can happen to you, it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone at any time. Can he recover? Maybe. That's not the story to tell. The point is, people are exposing themselves. The Brooklyn shooter, if you listen to his videos, you find out he was in a long process. He did the final crime and now will never be in society again. Cast out. And the irony about this, this is, he participated even to the point of waiting to be picked up because because he had nowhere to go. So he's making sure he gets his uh, McDonald's before he goes, according to the stories that I've read. Done. He will be made the face, a more comfortable face of terrorism because in the United States of America, we live where for 250 years to make it comfortable to hold people in slavery, the black man was the face of savagery. And so now it is recurring. And it's not anybody doing it to black men, but black men. I keep being an internet state faces. This two last two weeks, I've seen a lot where people will come online in various places and show their whole behind and be cast out. Or participate in making a record so that when other agents in society decide to come get folk, they'll be cast out then. A need to peacock, a need to be validated, a need for attention. See, when you make virtue out of, you may try to make virtue out of vices, you still as a human being want to be validated. In that. The problem is, if there's still any rational moral actors in society, they look at you, they quarantine you, and eventually they put you out the door. Down to last night, I watched this process. And then on a personal level, I shared with you last year that I applied the block before Christmas to somebody that I knew. Now there are people who he has come to a point where it's just, there's no repentance in this man. And his vice is one that unfortunately is common. He's an older black man who does not understand the concept of having to respect black women as full human beings. Did not know that about him till his daughter reached a certain age. And we both found out. Now it is at a point where my father would like to help him. But this man has even toyed with my father on deep spiritual matters. But my dad, being who he is, the Christian minister, would like to give this man one more chance, but he can't, because what also happens at the end is the way becomes barred. In other words, people are not allowed to do anything more for you. We have some medical things to take care of. We have some work that's being done around the house, and dad is not going to leave his old wife defenseless while other people, men who are working, are running in and out around here. That's not gonna happen. Because it has been raining, this work cannot be completed. So either, and then on the days when I do that, we have some medical things that have to be dealt with um, for both mom and dad. So they can't do any extra. I'm gonna be trying to get them hooked up with their fourth booster today. And then they've got some other medical appointments. So even though my dad would like to help this man and I would have to facilitate that, circumstances are not gonna let us do it. The fellow who got blocked for Christmas only has a month to live. He has relatives that keep talking big about what they're going to do. They are showing up for him. He has relatives. He has a daughter that he physically intimidated. She's like, I'm not going to touch that. When he did that to me, and there were multiple incidents, when he did that to me, 
I said, he, she, she said, what do I do with all my relatives who are trying to pressure me to try to prepare something when he's not even willing to say he to realize he was wrong? I said, you bury them with him. That's what you do. No choice. Because here's the thing. If you link up with people being cast out, guess what happens? You share in their faith. And that's why this video is happening. You have to learn how to recognize. If only Eve had known Satan's tricks, many of her sons and daughters would not have followed, would not have been following Satan to his ultimate doom when he is cast out and confined in a lake of fire. She had no way of knowing, and the Bible does not charge her with sin. It says she transgressed, but that she was deceived. She was the first and last human being who truly had no means of knowing the Bible did not exist yet. Eve is not acquitted, but she definitely gets a lesser charge. We have occasion to know, so you have to begin to notice the signs. Sometimes, and it is hard to do this because you do not always know, but what you want to notice about people is if you catch them in a wrong, do they justify it? Do they find a way to defensive? I don't care how small it is because we're talking about patterns of life. If this is a man, run. If this is an organization that covers for other people, run. That's a pattern of life that at some point, something else to avoid in a man. And this is something that if you grew up a little bit differently than I did, my dad is not a peacock. So I didn't learn to respect men that peacock. But men that are peacocking, in other words, trying to show themselves off, are trying to hide some great insecurity somewhere. And this is often a trap because what we deal with is the performance of manhood as opposed to the substance. I did that video, I'll link to it. Most of the time that hides someone who wants to play God in your life, run. Why? Because you do not want to be on this person's process of slowly being cast out. And when it comes to black men at this moment, we are seeing it in front of us on many spectrums. Beware. All right, y'all have a good day now. Goodbye. Thank you for listening.